noise figure of cascaded systems. In the previous video, we have introduced what is meant by the noise figure, and we also studied what is the relation between the noise figure and the equivalent noise temperature for a noisy uh, microwave network. Now the question is, if I have cascaded microwave networks, uh, as I said, if we have an amplifier cascaded with a filter and the filter cascaded with a mixer and so on, so what will be the total noise figure for such cascaded system? And also, what is the uh, equivalent noise temperature for such cascaded system? So we are going to assume that we have two systems. The first system has Again, G1 and noise figure F1 and equivalent noise temperature TE1. And the second system has again G2 and noise figure F2 and equivalent noise temperature TE. So, as the input, we have the input noise, and as I said, the noise figure is defined for the room temperature T0. We have T0 is uh, 290 Kelvin. Uh, the output of the first network, we will have noise 1. And the output of the network 2, we will have the total output noise in north. In this case, the noise at the output of port 1 in terms of the input noise, it would be G1 K T naught B, which is equivalent to the amplification of the input noise, plus the internal noise. The internal noise it would be G1 multiplied by K multiplied by the equivalent noise temperature for the first network TE1 multiplied by the operating values. This is the input noise for the second network, which is the output noise for the first network. Now, this input noise will be amplified by the gain G2. In addition, we are going to add the noise due to the internal uh, noise temperature TE2. So, the output noise in the node would be G2 multiplied by N1. Plus the internal noise due to uh, the equivalent noise temperature TE2 would be G2 multiplied by K multiplied by TE2 multiplied by B. Okay. Now by replacing N1 by this and taking the common factor G1, G2, KB. So, the total output noise, it would be G1, G2, KB, multiplied by T0, multiplied by TE1. And because this term is multiplied only by G2, and I have taken common factor G1, G2, so this would be 1 over G1, multiplied by TE2, to compensate the G1. Alright? So the remaining could be G two K B T. This means that the total noise temperature in this case would be the room temperature T naught plus uh, the equivalent noise temperature of the first network T one plus one over G one multiplied by the equivalent noise temperature uh, T E two of the second network. We can say that, okay, these two cascaded networks, they can be equivalent to a single network with a total gain, G1 multiplied by G2, and total noise figure, F cascaded, and total noise temperature, TE cascaded. In this case, this means that the output noise, it would be G1, G2, multiplied by K, multiplied by B, multiplied by T naught this is the noise due to the input plus the internal noise it would be G1 G2 multiplied by K multiplied by T T 
E cascaded in this case multiplied by the bandwidth. So the equivalent noise uh, output noise for the equivalent uh, one network would be G one G two K B multiplied by T cascaded plus T naught. The term T naught corresponds to the amplification of the input noise and the term of T cascaded corresponds to the equivalent noise temperature for the cascaded system. So, from these two equations, we can note that the equivalent cascaded temperature or the equivalent temperature for the cascaded system, T cascaded, it would be TE1 plus 1 over G1 TE2. So, the equivalent cascaded temperature equals the temperature of the first network the equivalent temperature of the first network plus 1 over the gain of the first network multiplied by the equivalent temperature of the second network. Okay. Now we have the equivalent noise temperature for the cascading system. We can obtain the noise figure for this case. The noise figure in terms of the equivalent noise temperature is given by 1 plus T. E over T naught. TE here is the T of the cascaded network. This means that the noise figure it would be 1 plus TE 1 over T naught plus 1 over G1 TE2 over T naught. 1 plus TE1 over T naught is effectively the noise figure of the first network. And TE2 over T0 is the noise figure of the second network minus 1. We can see that TE2 over T0 equals the noise figure F2 minus 1. So, this is actually what I'm seeing here. Sorry. This is 1 plus TE1 over T0. This is F1 plus 1 over G1 multiplied by TE2 over T0. So this is the second term. So in this case, the noise figure for the cascading system would be the noise figure of the first network plus 1 over the gain of the first network multiplied by the no noise figure of the second network minus 1. Actually, uh, this derivation was based on uh, two network, two cascaded networks. If you are talking about any cascaded network, we can say that the general case, the equivalent noise temperature for any cascaded network would be uh, the equivalent noise temperature for the first network plus the equivalent noise temperature for the second network over G1, where G1 is the gain of the first network, plus the equivalent noise temperature for the third network over G1 multiplied by G2, where G1 is the, the gain of the first network and G2 is the gain of the third network, and so on. On the other hand, the equivalent uh, noise figure for the cascaded network it would be the noise figure of the first network plus the noise figure of the second network minus 1 over G1 <coughs> plus the noise figure of the third network minus 1 over G1 multiplied by G2 and so on. It is interesting to note that if the value of G1 is a large value, so the cascaded equivalent temperature and the cascaded noise figure would be nearly the uh, equivalent noise temperature for the first network only 
and the equivalent uh, noise figure for the first network one. Assuming that the value of G1 is much greater than U. <coughs> uh, that's why in uh, receiver circuits, the first element of the receiver circuit is called low noise amplifier. <coughs> Uh, low noise amplifier is an amplifier with high gain, so the value of G1 is very large, and with very small uh, equivalent noise temperature. So in this case, regardless what happens after the low noise amplifier, the equivalent temperature for all the system would be the equivalent noise temperature for this low noise amplifier. So effectively, uh, the equivalent noise for the low noise uh, amplifier determine uh, the equivalent noise temperature for all the receiver system. That's why uh, we should start uh, any receiver with an amplifier with high gain and very low noise uh, equivalent temperature, such that uh, the equivalent or the equivalent temperature for all the system in this case is mainly determined by the equivalent temperature for this low noise amplifier. Effectively, this would be quite clear uh, in the following video when we are going to study the noise analysis for a wireless receiver system as a numerical example uh, for what we have mentioned here in this video. Okay. All right.